Sugar Daddy boot camps are a thing. Oh, speaking of Fillion, where's the, uh, I want to see the sugar, sugar daddy boot camp. I want to be a sugar baby. Slut ever. Seems like a really insulting title. What the fuck is that? Which one's the sugar daddy boot camp? My name's Ava. I'm a college student and- Hey, wait, 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 wait. This is the girl that was licking airplane toilets last year. Wait, what the fuck? A hundred percent. This is the same girl that was licking airplane toilet seats to prove coronavirus isn't real. I immediately- I'll never forget that face. 100%. Yep. And it's Ava. Nailed it. My memory is nutty. Yep. Get fucking blasted. I- I got you. You thought you could- you thought you could be my sugar baby? When you're licking fucking poopy ass seats on an airplane? You really thought. You really fucking thought, Ava. Embarrassing. I am so good with faces, it is wild. I am like one of those absolute scientific specimen that you see get studied in movies because they can't understand how their brain works. Like, that's how smart I am when it comes to people's faces. I took a single look at her, and I remembered her in this position. And I haven't seen this story in... What, when, when was this? Uh, March 23rd, 2020. Too easy. Thought you could pull a fast one on me, Ava. Ridiculous. I'm a college student, and I guess you could say I'm a sugar baby. <laughs> As my... Job. I genuinely have like facial yeah. recognition I mean, on the AI level. My bad. I know nothing about men's fashion, but these don't look like they're worth two grand. They don't. Now they look like shit. Fall apart on the bottom, but I'm about the Chanel slides these days. Hey, the bits goat, like psych, like Gucci, and saucy. Reading, the prime thrust. In and tier one Luke right and the Risa Ravioli. Yeah, I got Okay. Data Jeans, moshing. The shoes. This is sandals. I feel like I know this that. This is one I feel like being a girl and not wearing <laughs> This I like. This is yeah. this I would get. If I had a sugar daddy, like that's what I would pick out. This one wasn't that much money. What's not that much money? Twelve hundred. Like my bag collection. That seems cheap for a sugar baby. So you bought Ask for more. sugar money? Yeah. Freshman year of college, my friends were like, oh my god, like we're all on the site. I so much vocal fry in this room. And it'll be a topic yeah. of conversation. And I have these frat guys like pimping out girls, being like, oh, let me be your seeking arrangements manager. That is insane. I made it very clear in my profile what I'm looking for that's completely platonic, nothing sexual. If girls... And that's always the craziest thing to me. There's a little... There's a difference between a sugar daddy and a pay pig. And I feel like it's a little upsetting that they get lumped together. Like, a sugar daddy usually pays for sex and, like, a full-blown relationship, whereas a pay pig just pays because they like the look of the girl and they like to be humiliated, mostly. And it seems like she's more of a pay piggy mistress as opposed to a sugar baby. So Vice really needs to do more research, I'd say, because this is misleading. Your friends yeah. um, are sleeping with guys. Can you make more money that way? I think so. I think it would be so easy. There's all different kinds of ways. Like the reset balloon about like it can be. No, sex right, work. of course it can not. Make it sex work. So I'm just gonna show you my profile on my phone. My username I just made network seeking. The heading I just put looking to network with a little happy face. They love the little happy faces for some reason. It just makes you seem that much more approachable. The picture I used, I just kind of picked one where I'm just like. In oh a no 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 no. It, that's that's a bad picture. Use the one where you're licking the airplane toilet seat. That's such a good pick. Ava, use this one. God damn it. So I should be her manager and take a percentage. This is no wonder she's not crushing it like she could be. You look like a sex doll. You think? But like, but you're wearing clothes. Exactly. Like I'll sit down and talk to them and be like, "How are you? Like, tell me what you do for work." Like that's always what I like to start off with. And then I'll be like, "Well, I'm a PR major. These are the internships I want. These are the business opportunities I want." And I like empower them and make them feel like they can offer. There's nothing so empowering much. about it. Mentor bonus. It's humiliating. So it's fulfilling them in a different way than yeah. sexually. How do you learn how to negotiate? Like, who teaches you how to be a It's not a negotiation. She just says, I want money and I'll hang out. And you start having all these men message you, like, $500 paid per meet and things like that. And they're like, what? What's this mean? Like, what am I doing? Like, am I an escort now? Like, is this okay? And it's like, kind of just, I feel There's like, the kind of and I'm Pog not saying Daddy. it work out for everyone that way. And I've gotten extremely lucky with Facing the people the I've giants. Met, But I mean, it's taken a lot of sorting through messages and things like that. <laughs> what else we got? I love the sugar daddy, sugar baby, pay piggy culture. I find it so interesting. 
Um, let me see this one. The first thing they usually want to know about me, uh, how big is my wallet, why I'm on the site, what I'm looking for, and what I'll do for them. I know the answer to like all of those questions, bro. I don't like the sugar daddy term. I prefer to be a person who might do the same things as a sugar daddy. I just don't like the term. Why? It's a cool term. arrangement if there's no sex don't treat me like an atm and i won't treat you like a hooker i want to have a woman and if she wants to participate in a finer life i don't mind that because i think that's part of the deal oh this guy's not pulling any punches hey congrats on the new job because it, hope you're enjoying it bob uh, and thanks for your best lead. to meet new people they'll send me a message it'll say uh, I'd like to receive ten thousand dollars a month, and I, you, then I, I usually write back. Good deal. F A O. But this is not the way to get a guy. I'm on the site because I want to meet somebody that will spoil me. Because I'm tired of dating broke guys, and that's the straightforward truth. I'm tired of dating. Okay, guys yeah, fuck them, I guess. It's time for me to be treated the way that I'm supposed to be treated. Like I deserve to get wine and dine. We're going to American Cut for dinner, and uh, we'll have a really nice time. He sounds interesting. Like he sounds definitely successful in whatever he's doing, and he sounds like somebody I would want to date. So uh, he look, yeah, he looks cool. I want an intellectual person. I want to have somebody that I can have a conversation with. It's not just you know somebody that I'm gonna like be on a date with, and it's just gonna be us staring at each other. Good editing. Seems like the date's going well. So, I mean, like, you want to fuck, or what's up with that? I like, like I'm, I'm paying a lot of money to be here. To him, and he's, like, not, like, a stuck-up type of guy. Like, he's somebody that I can relate to. So, I, I think it's going well so far. I'm not attracted to her. Just tell <laughs> my type. She's a very nice girl. Pleasant conversation and everything. I'm, I'm a bit older, and some girls can pull it off and some can't. She's God a damn. millennial generation. I need a little more intellect. It takes a lot more than just meeting up for the first time with old people. Damn, she just got blasted. I don't know how bad she is, it, it, but I think she's chunky. What and the she is, fuck? I, but if she weren't and she said, oh, I want to go home with you and be with you, I'm a guy. Everybody wants to get laid, right? God no, damn. But seriously, you go on a date to get laid. This is not you a sugar daddy. Serious. This is a sugar you villain. You have the option of paying for it. Fuck. Dude probably even left her with the check. Man went full Sigma male for a second. He's like, yeah, I pay for sex. What about it? Covered to investigate a sugar daddy? Well, let's see. What does it look like? Is it really? At the moment, I'm meeting guys on a pay-per-meet basis. We just go for dinner. That's it. Call it a night. Dinner, cocktails, goodbye. Rough. Some girls just do escorting, but they call they like to sugarcoat it. And uh, uh, you know what I mean. We're saying it's they do sugarcoated sex work. So what is it? Shout out, me, stuff. It's not sure. And thanks, about Aaron. The money they're giving to me is about how I use that money to make myself financially independent. Well, all right. I guess. Yeah. I am Wait, what were the options on that list? Could you could you put under 18? Oh no no no. I thought I thought I thought I saw 16 on there. I was gonna say, what the fuck is that? Damn, there's not a whole lot of good sugar daddy content. I was expecting a lot more. Thanks to Risa Bladrick and Dev. Okay, give me one second though. I'm gonna fill up this water. I will be right back. Let's see what the Coney Island Ski Club is. Side talk. Oh, I know this. Hey, yo, we got Byron's car wash live from Coney Wait, I'm, Are you I've seen him on Reddit. Yes, sir. I was feeling thirsty. Your mom gave me a gallon of honey to quench that, you are. It's no snow on the floor. He's really skiing the Coney Island on a hard top. What we do with Coney Island, Colette? Keep real, son. We keep it real. Fuck your life. Bing bong. He had too many shots. You want a shot? Hey, yo, this place looks time. fucking What's awesome. Up, Come to Coney Island and take a spin on a cyclone. I miss you. Let's see that flip, boy. Yeah. 
with the yellow foams on. There's so much going on. Email live. Go to my Instagram. What do you want to tell Joe Byron right now? What's up, baby? Take me out to dinner. Hey, yo. <laughs> this is the Kim and Kanye of Tony Allen. And Kim ain't got shit on me. Yo, he got his phone in his balls. Steve Jobs did not die for this. If you see these dogs in your front yard, huh, just know upstairs I'm going hard. Bing bong. Man, there was so much condensed into a single minute. I feel like I went on an entire journey. Holy shit. You know, I've never been to Coney Island, but I kind of want to go now just to see this guy spraying cars with a fucking fire hydrant. Oh, that was pretty wild. DJ Khaled. He does look a little like DJ Khaled, like a more charismatic DJ Khaled. Like if Khaled was mixed with Andrew from Channel 5. This guy's awesome. So what is this? This is a beatbox championship. It's been a while since I've seen professional beatboxing. <laughs> Sounds like a Luigi's Mansion remix. Oh, he's fucking in it. This is pretty wild. Okay, let's hear the other guy. Whoa, wait a minute, I missed the whole drop. It was fine, nothing nothing wrong with it. It sounded like something I would have hit in Dance Dance Revolution. Less of like an actual song and just more of like a all hard oh, step to that. All right, round one, it's on red mine. Y'all know what to do, I say the twa, you say the turn the uh, crowd, twa! I'm also pretty sure I saw a guy hit a key bump over, oh, never mind. Twa! Well, this one seems to hit hard. It sounds like it's right off of the transistor soundtrack. This guy sounds a lot better. This is just noises. Weird way of breaking that down. Everything is just noises, bro. Nice. Yeah, it was pretty good.